call it one touch hacking quick and easy ways for hackers to spy into your private accounts I have an application on here that can uh, attack a local Wi-Fi network okay. and listen to all of the data that's being sent over it that's not secure. Some CNET colleagues volunteered their accounts so security expert Kevin Mahaffey could try to hack into them. So here we see multiple Facebook accounts, YouTube, and an Amazon account that are all being logged into on this local Wi-Fi network near us. We can, with just a tap, log into their account. So he did and changed Kevin Hahn's Facebook status. And we just posted to as well. Makes me think about the security of the internet and what I do wirelessly. The reason these hacking programs exist is so researchers can find loopholes and problems before the bad guys do. This is a way of putting pressure on Facebook and other companies to provide secure connections to their websites for consumers. But there are ways to browse safely while connected to public Wi-Fi. So on Facebook, I'm going to go to my account and then click on account settings. And under that, there's an account security section. You simply check secure browsing HTTPS, which is different than HTTP, the S meaning secure. You can click save. And now every time you log into Facebook in the future, it will use a secure way of transmitting data to Facebook. While Mahaffey says browsing on an HTTPS enabled page can be a bit slower, it's the only way to guarantee your personal accounts stay secure. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.